Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, we take a look at an alternative to Windows Task Manager. It's called D Task Manager. Now, this has been recommended by a forum member. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so this is the first time I'm going to be firing it up in this video. So, let's have a look where we can get it from. We can get it from this website here. We'll put the link in the description and on my forum. Um, basically, you need to scroll down a bit to about uh, three quarters of the way down, and you will see uh, D Task Manager. Okay, so it says it works with up to Windows Vista. We're going to be trying to do it on Windows 7, see if there's any problems. It's only 100 KB, so let's have a little look at the program itself. So I've already downloaded it, and here it is here. Just click on that there. It's a tiny little program, as you can see. Pretty much similar to Windows, but it's got a few uh, others, other things on it that you can do that Windows doesn't do. So let's have a little uh, comparison. Let's open up Windows. Now we've got an Applications tab here the same as uh, this one also processes services performance networking and users and uh, we have it on this one as well but we have ports user modules and kernel uh, modules so let's have a little look so there are our applications that are running uh, it shows you what's running in the background also processes as I said we can come down here see the PID numbers which are very useful um, so we can right click here and what we got on the right click menu as you can see we've got find a target file set priority real time high normal and so on and so on also trim uh, RAM usage I don't know what that is at the moment but it's obviously to probably take the, trim the RAM usage for that process is down um, and also got trim RAM to all processes we've also got reveal all windows uh, suspend and resume which is quite useful and also end process, end process tree, quit process, quit process tree and also kill process and kill process tree so that's on the right click context menu and we've also got some tabs down here saying free, suspend and so on and so on so let's have a little look at what else this does other than what Windows one does as well well it's got three different ways of closing a process as I said there it's got um, a termination request which is the standard way of doing things it's also got a false termination which is with uh, dialogue tolerance and it's also got a false toler uh, termination of any type of process bypassing all permissions it can also um, terminate running processes system processes um, it can also suspend and reactivate a process as you can do that in Linux as well um, so that's pretty much and also another thing it can do is block deleting of processes so you can highlight the whole lot of them there and delete the whole lot in one fell swoop or end process I should say not delete I should say um, kill process or end process and it will do them all in one fell swoop which is quite useful for viruses get rid of viruses if they're all running there okay so let's have a look at the uh, performance tab as you can see it's saying high CPU usage there this is not real I don't know what's happened there maybe it's because it's Windows 7 but that's saying it's using 100% when it's not so um, we've also got that's pretty much the same as uh, Windows one really also got ports which is showing you the ports um, which the machine is using and also we have a local port there and remote IP and remote port protocol and so on and so on okay if we right click on some of these now as you can see find a target file if we go to there or go to process it should take us to that location okay so if we right click on this and find target file it will take us to that target file it should do but it's not doing that for some reason I'm not sure why okay so we've got a uh, kill task override which is down here as well we've got these handy little buttons at the bottom okay this is just taking me to this window it's not taking me to the actual uh, file that I wanted that program to use which it does in Windows so I wonder if that's a little fault with the program I'll have to have a little look at that so we've also got networking there this is uh, to basically monitor your um, networking uh, bandwidth usage so you just pick the card that you're using say for instance that's my network card you just click on that and it will show you how much bandwidth you're using so if you're streaming down you'll see the bandwidth monitor going up and down and you'll have bandwidth history okay so let's have a look at the user modules here we have the user modules you can click on this say Firefox 
and basically it will tell you all the DLL files or the, the files that that application is using and as you can see quite a lot so if we click on one of these now we can either freeze this one which is like a pausing button it will freeze it uh, find the target file and also view by module so let's see what that does so target file opens up that that folder and also view by modules and this will open up the uh, modules and it will tell you where that file is it's located as you can see um, tells you the size of it and the path so now we have the path of the file might be handy for tracking down viruses and stuff like that where you can see c colon backslash programs um, instead of firefox we know that's not a virus but you get the general gist of what I'm on about if that was a virus we can actually track it down and find out where it's located and then kill it or delete it so let's uh, go back a bit there, a view by process. So let's try and pick one that's uh, okay. So that's basically that, really. That's going to show you how to do that. It's pretty self explanatory. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to play with it properly yet. These are our system files, as you can see here dot sys files. Um, we can freeze any of these if we wanted to, as you can see here, the little freeze button also there's no right click context menu on here but it does tell you the location of these files so if you've got an inkling that one of them was a virus or it's been uh, of some sort or a trojan or malware or something like that you can actually locate it and it will show you where it is we can actually delete it hopefully I will have uh, another video showing you where, how useful and how good this program is and it, how it fares uh, and if it fails then obviously you'll see it with your own fair eyes so Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brighttech.co.uk. If you have any requests like this uh, guy did, then obviously post them on the forum and I'll do my best to make them for you. Let's just quickly run up the top here. Um, as you can see, run a task there. We've also got options to make this a default. I forgot to mention that you can actually use this rather than the, the Windows one if you want to. Um, also, pretty much uh, log off, reboot, shutdown, force and false uh, hard shut down false hard uh, tools and that's pretty much it really so hope you enjoyed this video as I said my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoyed this video please uh, subscribe to my channel also head over to the forum and become part of the community and help out and post some tutorials over there so 